Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 49 of the Michael Pena Senior Show. It is May 14th, 2018, and I'm Michael Pena Senior. Listen, Heather David said, An excellent coach is hard to find, difficult to part with, and impossible to forget. And we're going to talk about the last coach in Mount Ida history, Coach Mike Landis, for the things that he did for not only the football team, but for the school. I mean, this is a guy that, you know, I, I just think that did, did a lot for, for a lot of people. And, and I think that I need to bring him up and I need to talk about him. My community is, is, is stretching to UMass Boston. I want to make sure that they know who Coach Landis is. And um, hopefully it's stretching to Nichols. So um, we're going to talk about Coach Landis today. And just so you people out there, that I, I quoted Heather David. You're like, who's that? Well, Heather David... And, and I hope she doesn't get angry when I say this, like I'm going to call her the team mom. I mean, she did more for us and more for the people and made sure that everybody really came together as a community and as a family. Um, she organized the tailgates. She, um, she ordered uh, like T-shirts and hats and everything for everybody. She just did so much for so many people. And... Um, it's a very rare thing for somebody who cares so much like that about so many different people and want to bring people together like that. And Heather, you're one of those people. And I'm going to miss you. And of course, her son, her son Josh, was was a captain and in, in senior linebacker this past season. He's an excellent football player. And he graduated in December this past year. So um, I'm going to miss you, Heather. And I hope that we get to see you at some of Michael's games at Nichols. So let's just get right into it. I mean, you know that the the last commencement ceremony was held at the Blue Hills Bank, Bank Pavilion in Boston for the Mount Ida. They didn't want to have it at, at the school. They thought that, it, you know, that they, there'd be so many people that they wanted to be able to accommodate. So they were able to do that. I thought I was able to just watch the first hour of it. I had my side hustle going, so I, I just got to watch the first hour of that. But I, I did get to see the students walking in, and I loved it when the professors came in. They, they gave them such a huge applause. These are people that are out of work now, too. So, you know, this, this, this is a situation where the professors in, in some of the the, the speakers, the student speakers, talked about how the professors didn't worry about their next job. They were so worried about th the students, you know, landing on their feet, making sure they had a place to go to school, and making sure that they were um, going to be taken care of. And their, their lives are completely changed and completely set upside down. So I thank you and commend all the professors out there that, that did that for the students, and I'm so glad they got such a huge applause. But, I mean, the class speaker, Corey Staub, he put this right into, in, in his speech, into what I'm saying, because this is a, it's still a financial show. We're going to get more into finance. I got some questions that were asked of me on, um, on my... Uh, at coachp2210 at yahoo.com that we'll get to after the um, hearing, which is May 16th. But the class speaker, Kari Staub, you know, he explained how angry he was when he learned of the school closing. And, and this is his quote, and, and I loved it. He said, how could the school I trusted with our future be so short-sighted how dare we continue to market the school as becoming stronger every day if we were struggling to keep the lights on? Who was so out of touch with the financing that we became crippled by millions of dollars of debt? And these are questions that are going to have to be answered at the hearing, May 16th. That's the May 16th hearing. That's the UMass uh, Amherst acquisition amount Ida. That's a Senate committee hearing. That's going to be 12 p.m. 24 Beacon Street, Boston, Mass. I will be there. It's going to be held at the Gardner Auditorium. So, but Corey, you put it, and I hope that you're watching this because Corey, you put it right out there. 
And I hope you young adults are getting it. That debt can cripple you. That's a great word, cripple you. Think about what it could do to your family. It can cripple a family. It could take away all your hopes and dreams. You've got homes now that you want to buy. You're going to have your own retirement that you want to finance or or to save for. You're going to have your own children with their own education expenses that you need to save. If you're in debt, you can't do any of that. It can cripple you. Love that quote, Corey. I know that you're going to be special. You're going to go somewhere. I can tell just by your voice and the way that you spoke. That was awesome. So remember, stay out of debt. Get out of debt if you've got student loan debt. Don't buy a brand new car because you get a job for $50,000. I'm telling you, it's not enough money to get a brand new car. Make sure you're out of debt and pay cash for everything that you do going forward, except for your home. But, you know, we could talk about your home later. But stay out of debt. It can cripple you. So I want to get right into what I thought was awesome, how they gave away the honorary degrees. And uh, I I loved it how how Coach, I'm sorry, Tom B. I was going to call you Coach B. But Tom B. sent me a clip that Muhammad Ali, who I brought up on my last show, was an honorary degree uh, you know, re- recipient in 1994. His daughter Hannah actually graduated from Mount Ida, and I thought that was the, the some eye-opening stuff for me. I loved it. But they gave an honorary degree to 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 a couple of people that had been working on campus, and these they they disinvited the, the. I loved it how the student body disinvited the president, and they changed the whole platform of the show. They they told the honorary degree members that they would that were gonna the honorary degree recipients that were gonna get honorary degrees that they weren't were no longer gonna get them that they were gonna pick who they wanted for honorary degrees, and they picked two people that had worked on campus for you know. 25, 30 years, they were, they, they were uh, cafeteria workers, and, and they touched the students' lives. They just understood the students. They bled green. They, they were there. And the person that I thought that I, I, I didn't know he was receiving an honorary degree but was so deserving is Coach Mike Landers. And Coach Landers, if you're listening out there, I just want to put it out there on video how important you are and, and will always be in the lives of not only the football players that you coached, but the community of Mount Ida in a whole. And just so you people know again, and I've mentioned that Coach Landers is from Brockton, so I knew Coach Landers. He played football with my brother, and I thought it would be good for my son to play football for for Coach Landers, and I thought that he was a true and honest guy, but you you never know because we 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 got sold by a car salesman at Western New England, and we know who that coach was. He was a, he was a car salesman. Thank God they got a new coach there, and I congratulate that new coach because he's a much better man. But the car salesman's out of there, and you got to watch out as parents for who's trying to sell you a car, you know, and, and put you in a debt, basically, and the one that's going to be true and honest and tell you what, what you should and shouldn't do, and that's Coach Landers. And he didn't just help during this crisis. He didn't just help the football players. He went up to every and each. And you heard it in the speeches about how he went up to every student to make sure they were okay. He reached out to each one to make sure that they were going to be okay. And that's as a parent, like you're sending your your kid to college, you know the biggest influence on that life is going to be that football coach. I know that myself as a football coach. And you hope to God that that guy is not going to do something that's going to change that personality for the for the for the worse, you know, you want to make sure that they, or you hope that that that, that they're going to help enhance your 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 child, your child, your young adult. And that's what Coach Landis has done, not only for my son, but for thousands and thousands of students at Mount Ida throughout the years. Coach Landis was there for ten years. He started coaching there in two thousand eight, I believe. A, 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 I believe it was 2008, and uh, they had a surprise party for him with all the alumni, and some of the current players were there, and they were able to to really honor this man. He got an honorary degree, and then he was honored by his players 
because this is a guy that touched so many lives that people are never going to forget you, Coach Landis. I'm never going to forget you for the things that you did. And these, these young adults that you touch will never forget you. It was great because Heather, David, had t-shirts made up that said, Forever Family, Forever Mustangs. And again, this is a woman. She she organized it. This is a she organized it, which was great. She she's just unbelievable, and and, and that's the thing. An excellent coach is hard to find, difficult to part with, and impossible to forget. I couldn't have put it in any better way. And Coach Landers, if you're out there and you're watching, you know, forever you're within my family, forever. Anything and anything that you need, we're always going to be there for you like you were there for us. So I hope that you people understand how important Coach Landers is. And if you're an employer out there that need a football coach, I'm telling you right now, he's an innovative type of mind too. You know, a little crazy because he's from Brockton, but that's what you like. He's not just crazy. He's a character guy. Okay? He's a Brockton guy. That's a good guy. That, that's got a good heart, and I'm going to miss sitting watching football games with his father and seeing his mom, and, and you know that he was parented right by a great mother and father. So, if, you know, Coach Land is let your mother and father know that I think they're great people also. So I just wanted to be able to talk about Coach Landers more than anything else. He was an important part of our lives, and we're going to miss him. I hope you can sit with me at some Nichols game. You and your father sit next to me side by side. That'll be fun. But um, listen, this Wednesday, that's May 16th, 2018, at 12 p.m., 24 Beacon Street. Listen, UMass Boston, let's get together out there. Mount Ida Mustang Nation, let's get together out there. Let's ask these questions of who is responsible for this. I mean, I guess the deal hasn't completely gone through yet. So, I mean, I don't know. Let's just make our voices heard. Let's see what we can do. Let's try to cripple them. Let's try to do something. Let's see who we can hold responsible. All right, so let's get there together. Let's win together. I'm living my passion one day at a time. I want to win. I want to help you win. Let's win together.